Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement and I'll show you step by step on how to do that. So this is the Asus gaming laptop. And let me show you the model number here. The model is FX505G. And just assume that you have a cracked screen and you would like to change it out. There are two ways to do it. One, you can simply just change out the LCD screen by itself or you can change the entire assembly of the LCD screen. But in this video, we're just going to change the LCD because the bezel and the top cover of the screen with the hinge, it is still perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So we're going to keep the top cover uh, by just changing out the LCD screen. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here. As you can see that the bezel has these two little uh, stuff here and this two little plastic is actually uh, hiding the screw so you may need to remove that screw in order to get the bezel out so go ahead and remove this black plastic sticker save them on the side because we like to put it back if not it would look ugly because the uh, the screw is exposed by just like that right so save that we're gonna put it back afterwards and this is the electric screwdriver. Go ahead and remove it. The screws are just a regular Phillips screws. So all you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, once you remove the two screws, the next step you can do is remove the bezel. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and um, find a weak spot and go ahead and pry open the bezel. Okay, once you remove the bezel, now the screen is ready to be removed. As you can see, there's no other screws that's holding down to the LCD. So these two screws right here is holding on the side of the LCD, right? It's just for the top cover. It's actually not holding the LCD because there's no screws on, on the side of the LCD, LCD that's screwed in. So this metal here is actually like the arm. These two arms are holding onto the top cover, this plastic cover on the top here, right? So it's holding onto that and goes all the way down to the hinge. So every time when you open and close the screen, this is the arms is moving the top plastic cover. Now, how is the screen being installed? If you ask, well, nowadays all the screens are taped onto it, right? So this little uh, plastic tape here, you, it's hard for you to see it, but you're going to see it when I pull it out. So what I do is I get a little tweezer here and you can see this little plastic. So go ahead and pull it out. What I like to do is I like to slowly and gently pull down. And the thing is really long. It's like a cheese. The more you pull, the more it's the more it's going to go. So it's pretty long every time I pull and it comes out quite a distance, right? So once you pull this little double sided tape, this sticky tape on one side and then come back here and pull on the other side. Okay, so that's how you remove that sticky tape now the screen is free to go now the screen can just come straight up I'm gonna lift it down a little bit try not to damage the cable here because we're gonna reuse the same cable but we're gonna replace the LCD screen so get this uh, prying tool is kind of taped down that cable 
So what you want to do is peel this plastic, not all the way because we're going to reuse the plastic. Just peel it enough to remove the cable, right? So the cable here have no clipper or anything that clips onto the cable. You can just slice straight up and it get removed. Let's put it on the side. And there you have it. The LCD screen will just come straight up, right? So let's take a look at the model number here. If you take a closer look, it says N156HRA-EA1. The version is C1. What you want to do is you want to look up for this right model here, made by this company or other company is fine. And you can get a replacement screen for your laptop. Now, if you're not sure where to buy them, uh, I usually link all my products in the description below. I usually get them from Amazon or from eBay. If you like, go ahead and click on the description below. It will direct you to the website and you can go ahead and make your purchase. It does give me a small kickback as a affiliated program or like kind of a referral program. You, you would say each time when you click on it, I get a few cents to a dollar or so. Uh, it all depends on the product and the commission fee that Amazon or eBay would give it to me. So I really appreciate if you can click on the link, use my link, and that helps me to generate some commission and that helps me to buy the tools and make more of this type of video for you. All right, so uh, before I go off track again, uh, let's come back to the to the screen replacement here. Now, the next step you like to do is you need to have the double-sided tape, right? So assuming that this is your old screen, you know, it's broken, you've, you're going to throw it away, and a few days later, Amazon ship you a brand new screen, right? So this is your new screen. It just came in from the from UPS or USPS, and you're ready to install. Now, one of the things that we did earlier was to remove this double-sided tape and you what you can do is you can buy a, a tape replacement so this is double-sided tape again right so what you want to do is you want to tape it down you want to tape it down to the level of this right here this bar right here so they do give you an estimated length so go ahead and tape it down about this much. And I like to give myself a slightly more space. The reason because, let's just say in the near future, in the near future, if you happen to break the screen, screen again, the second time, now you know where the tape is going to end up to, right? So do that and then go ahead and do that on the other side here. Tip it down. Give yourself a slight, slightly longer. So you have a slack and you know where the tip's gonna go for the next time you're gonna remove it again, right? So go ahead and peel off the, uh, the plastic. Okay, once you peel that thing off, what you want to do is you want to come here, install the cable. So go ahead and slide it back in. Once you slide it all the way in, make sure you tuck it firm and have the tape to re-tape it again to somewhat holding the connector together. All right, so the next step is you want to lay flat and lay down your screen. So what I like to do is to align the bottom first or on the one corner. On the top right and then top left and just let it sit. Now you're going to ask, how do I know if this is a perfect alignment? Well, it's mostly an eyeball, right? I can't really tell you. I don't see the guidelines. Uh, but I would start with the top left or the top right because we remember earlier the video when it drops here We have this little extra black cable sticking out here. Remember that so this is enough for you to pull down for the next Repair if you happen to crack your screen again, right? So go ahead and tape it down press it a little bit Don't press it too hard gently press it down 
and you're all set. Now the next step we do is to re, uh, install the bezel. Once you have the bezel installed, do not forget to put the two screws back in. So you can just go ahead and put the two screws in. Okay, let's just one more screws here. All right, once you have the screws in, do not forget that two little plastic cover. You want to cover up the screw so that it can look nice. Let's go ahead and cover that up. All right, so there you have it. And that's how you can do the screen replacement on your Asus Gaming Laptop. So if you liked the video, please go ahead and give me a like. I really appreciate you for like liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, what I like to do is do me a favor, comment below, tell me if this video actually helps, that you can follow along step by step and replace your cracked screen on your laptop. So if it does, comment below, tell me how did you do. I'd like to hear that, uh, whether you can follow along with it or whether you can change out your screen by yourself. And hopefully this video saves you some money uh, instead of bringing to the computer repair shop and you just do your own repair. So until next time, take care now. Good luck with the repair.